When the Malamalama team got word that herds of seahorses were being born at the Waikiki Aquarium, we saddled up and headed down to take a look. We were met by Aquarium Director Andrew Rossiter. The um, aquarium has a long and venerable history. It was founded in 1904 and it's the third oldest public aquarium in the United States. It's been part of the University of Hawaii since 1919. There are very few aquariums which are affiliated with universities and in all cases they are stellar aquariums. I mean really, really top level and I would like to think that we are in that category. He introduced us to the man responsible for wrangling the squirmy herds of seahorses. Hi, my name is Norton Chan. I'm an aquarium biologist here at the Waikiki Aquarium. I graduated from the University of Hawaii in Manoa in 1993. I take care of fishes and uh, invertebrates that encompasses several exhibits, including behind the scenes things uh, such as research projects. Chan introduced us to the smooth seahorse or hippocampus cuda found in Hawaiian waters. If you look closely, you'll see that seahorses have bony plated armor instead of scales like other fish. They swim upright without the use of a tail fin. Like monkeys, they have prehensile tails, so you often find seahorses sitting on the bottom, holding the reef or seaweed or whatever is there, scanning the waters with eyes that move independently, waiting for a snack to float or swim by. Six large seahorses are on display for visitors, but Chan took us behind the scenes and showed us the breeding area where approximately 250 three- and four-month-old juvenile seahorses are being raised. Chan feeds the seahorses live brine shrimp while weaning them towards pre-packaged frozen mysa shrimp. They are fed and have their tank cleaned three times a day. Clearly, raising seahorses is not a job for the amateur. Our seahorses are breeding very well. Um, a lot of home aquarists or hobbyists that do sometimes pick up the seahorses from either the wild or from the pet stores um, occasionally have them give birth at home too but they're a little harder to raise at home because they don't have um, the food items needed to start raising them right away. Maybe the advanced hobbyists might be able to, but the beginners definitely have a harder time and a lot of times the juveniles end up dying. So for us, because we actually raise a lot of food items, copepods, rotifers, brine shrimp, we're able to keep and have a lot better survival rate. Seahorses are just one type of sea life that people can observe up close at the Waikiki Aquarium. Having an aquarium is one of the one of the best outreach tools that a university could have. We reach 320,000 visitors a year. They get an appreciation of the ecology of these islands, the marine life and the leading work that University of Hawaii is doing in this capacity.